All right, new week, new tutorial, and this time we're going to check out how to create strokes, specifically using Eevee and freestyles over our model. So in this case, we have a stylized line over here, and we're going to be checking out the parameters that you will need to do to create your custom strokes when using freestyle in combination with Eevee. Right here you're seeing the cycles uh, engine, but we're going to also be working on Eevee. And as you can see, the strokes are fantastic, fabulous. You can combine any quantity of passes for strokes. So that's, that makes something really awesome. And as a cherry on top, we're going to create an easy driver or to um, make the eyes glow for this character. Don't forget to subscribe, please. That way you support this channel. Thumbs up, soldier. You are aware of all of the changes that YouTube has recently gone by. Anyways, this question for this week was posted by Dai Tomodachi, and I, sh I suggest to you to check his creation, his channel. He's a really awesome guy, and he's asking for what are the parameters for the stylized strokes. And my head was spinning around many different things because I have uh, things to deliver because of commissions, because of uh, daily job and, and things like that. In the past, I've also received help from the community and I know for some of you that is an important topic. Paul helped me out with that question a year ago when I, I also asked about it and there were different parameters that now have changed since Blender 279, so let's check them out. So I decided to put this tutorial together because it was time to update it uh, for a cool combination between Eevee and Freestyle. So as you can see here, we have a lot of parameters that we can configure to specifically drive certain aspects of the line. So first of all, let's activate Freestyle I'm going to be placing it up here as well as color management. On freestyle, the important thing is that you set this thing to absolute on basically it's uh, on. And then on color management, please, please switch from filmic to standard. Okay, that's a very important part of doing uh, NPR as well. So with those settings done, let's go and explore what are the specific settings with freestyle, such as freestyle line set, freestyle line and also of course the overall parameter you can also script this with python uh, you can also activate this uh, parameters that i have right here i'm not going to go into details for that because it, it covers so many things freestyles is a huge area in blender but the important thing here is that we have our line set and that each line set we're going to create a new one by pressing plus and i'm going to name this my own my outline and from there on we're going to switch everything off okay so we're going to start we're going to start fresh anew and then i'm going to be checking out which thing does what so first thing first visibility of course we want the visibility for the line to be available for the object in this case and of course we're going to trace the image border so that's why we want to activate that now let's see what's going on with this i'm going to switch to cycles because most of you probably are still using cycles uh, for this kind of things, it's okay, you can use that, or you can use EV. I'm going to be switching back to EV by the end of the video. So, I want to lower the samples because for NPR, you don't need that much samples. You're not uh, calculating light bounces. You just get one hit and you're done, basically. But we're going to play safe and I'm going to be tracing this into... What is this? No way. So, this is the main reason why most of us get turned off by freestyle. Because most of the time we don't know what parameters we need to activate to in order for us to get a good clean render so let's explore that for the first parameter that we have here on the free line style because obviously we need to address that we have different things options such as the strokes and in this case um, you can create a, a dashed line like in illustrator you know when you have your head your tail your your dashed lines um, length etc and on each of these parameters from color alpha thickness you have modifiers okay so you can see the the list is almost similar but the one that we're interested is in this one thickness thickness i'm going to be marking it on three on three pixels wide all right and then i go i'm going to also um, show you the modifiers that we have here because the most important one that we want to use it's this one along stroke a longest stroke is going to give us those nice 
thick lines, but with some kind of stylization to it. You can add more modifiers, but we're going simple. And now I'm going to be also reviewing these edge types, okay? How to use this. Let's uncheck everything, and then let's see if we can uh, press this one silhouette to get the first result, okay? You can make this inclusive or exclusive. Now, think of these many different parameters for different many line sets because you want to create things with combinations, all right? You don't want to get one single uh, my outline to do it all. You can't, I mean, probably you could, but it's most likely that you will need to arrange certain lines here for these objects or these collections or other ones. So you can have different combinations and that variation is what uh, presses on the stylization for the animation in this case. So we see what Silhouette is doing right here. So we're going to also be activating border. And you, you can see that X right beside the name, right? That it, that's um, used so that you can um, annulate or stop on the go that, that uh, tracing when it's drawing the line. So now we know what the border is doing. It's uh, encountering the ray and the normal onto any hit surface or hit uh, face of the polygons and then it draws the division okay that's kind of the border thing that it's addressing and also we can see that here in the chest we would like to have his chest to be um, defined and there is a special option that you can get when you enter into edit mode you're going to get into your topology like I'm doing right here, let me switch off my modifier right now because I want to see the crude um, polygon. So now I'm going to be selecting this in edge filter mode and then I'm going to press Ctrl E and then I'm going to go down here to where it says mark freestyle edge and clear and also you have other options as well. But why do we want to mark that? Because when we're working with the options that we just saw about a second ago, those um, edges that are marked specifically for style, for freestyle, can also get uh, calculated inside the, the complete calculus that are not visible to the ray of the camera to trace the line, all right? So you can add additional things by Control E and adding those edges or lines specifically for, for freestyle into your model. So let's press render and now we will draw and surely enough, we get our line. Now, why didn't we get it complete? Because, just like I mentioned before, it depends on the ray of the camera. Now, that's an entire complete league that we will not be entering into this video. What we're going to be checking on this video is the second, I'm sorry, the third and last parameter, freestyle line. With that, you also have different options for stroke, color, alpha, and thickness, geometry, and texture. So when you're talking about the thickness, uh, the base thickness comes out from the center. Let me switch to another um, slot here so we can render that. And now um, I'm going to add the modifier along stroke. This is the one that interests us the most because this is the one that is going to stylize the, the thickness of the line. So we have two options, linear or curve. If we choose curve, we can define a specific curve in the way we want the line to appear. Now, I've placed here a graphic so you can see how the line is going to be reacting depending on the shape. So that ball in the middle, it's going to be the strongest while on the sides it's going to be very light. So let's press F12 and get the render out. And you can see it's almost all the same. It's got some little stylization, specifically under the ear, you can see that. Um, so let's switch that. Let's make that bold at the beginning and then fall off, or rather um, very thin, by the end of the line. You can imagine this like this graphic number two. That's, that would be the shape that it would have. Now let's press F12 and let's check the results. Marvelous, look at that, it's amazing. Looks perfect. It's really good. Now, if you want to mark the edges of the ear to also appear into this uh, stroke, you can also do it so. Enter into edit mode, mark those edges, and as you can see, 
the chest has also been um, traced. So I'm accelerating here the video. So we can get another thing that I wanted to show you before. This is uh, my vertex paint so that I always get light into this side of the face, always, no matter what is going on. So you can see here, I'm switching slots. This is the, the no settings, and this is the stylized settings, the second one. And you can see the clear difference. This is the way you might be liking. Now we have a problem. The eye also is appearing with the stroke and also the eyelashes, and we don't want that. What we need to do is to isolate that let me let me move this the, the light because this was something that I was telling you before about the vertex paint as you can see uh, it affects the, the the model but the face will not be affected anyways so let's go back to our main subject we want to select the eyes the eyebrows and the eyelashes and press M to create a new collection in that collection we're going to have everything we don't want freestyle to trace over to so in this case I'm going to be naming this uh, no lines for eyes collection as you can see it right here the outliner and this is going to be good I'm going to open up a new slot here for for a new render and what we want is to define that group inside the freestyle collection okay to be right here in the name okay to be excluded or exclusive as you can see right here and that way we will not draw over it it will not be traced over no line will be drawn uh, following the geometry nothing so let's hit render and then we have it perfect this is just marvelous now you have full control if you don't want the teeth to be drawn over then you can exclude it so let's create a quick bonus um, we're going to make his eye glow just because and we're going to create a custom parameter for that so I'm going to select the eye it has three different materials I'm going to set this with an emission and combine it with that mix shader node and the thing here now let's go back to EV and the thing here is I'm going to be placing a power energy of 500 for that uh, emission it looks really cool but I would like to animate this guy moving um, from the viewport the parameter that is needed to make his eye glow. And as you can see, I already pressed F12 and it also worked with freestyle that we have already set it. So I come here to the object property of the eye and then I add a new custom property. I'm going to be naming it eye shine, which parameters will go from 0 to 1. Now, back in the days of Softimage, we would only, you know, drag and drop the parameter directly into whatever we want to, to affect, like this. But here in Blender, you need to copy the data path, okay? Select copy data path, which will be later paste onto the uh, parameter we want, that we want to drive. So right-click, paste parameter, and then you have it. You can control this directly. But let's invert this so that one is equal to intense and zero is equal to no light. Perfect, now it's working. So I hope you really have enjoyed this tutorial. I know it has been short. It has been address ad addressing some of the things that we see on freestyle and also as well on the viewport for the rendering of an PR. I still owe you all guys a, a huge thanks for your patience on on the stylized series uh, once i finish this commission i'm i'm all free to go back and, and and finish creating all three parts for that stylization and as i already mentioned before there is a model that you will be using for commercial um, uh, purposes or for for any purposes that you would like if you want to use that model into a video game you're free to do it so and i'm very happy uh for that so i'm preparing all of that so that you can enjoy that model without any restrictions because this i cannot give it to you and also the ones that are out there are are not com for for not commercial things and i cannot show you all the tricks that you can be harvesting using the npr techniques in blender but if you are here and you are new and you just subscribe to you to this channel thank you so much because you support me as a creator and this takes a lot of time, a lot of patience. I, I, I want to show you a lot of 
amazing things. So thank you very much for your subscription. Thumbs up and the bell.